In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of our dynamic shipping and payments rules plugin. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and install and activate this dynamic shipping and payments plugin. So once it's installed, you want to toggle this switch to on. Okay, and then you want to click manage to enter the general settings area. Okay, and first I'm going to set up a shipping um, restriction rule. So let's go shipping method and then let's add new restriction. Okay, so in this scenario, let's disable the wholesale shipping for retail customers. So I've created a short description here, disable wholesale shipping for retail customers and this is for internal purposes only so your customers won't be seeing this message and in here it says um, exclude method so which shipping method you want to exclude I don't have that much shipping method um, set up but I'm gonna set up I'm gonna disable um, local pickup for our retail customers and the condition will be uh, customer role so if the customer role is customer which is the default um, retail user role then we're going to disable this local pickup before I activate this restriction rule let's test it let's just see what um, shipping method we've got on the storefront so let's visit our storefront and uh, we've got a few things in our cart so let's go ahead view cart okay and let's proceed to checkout and let's select UK okay so currently we've got access to flat rate shipping um, free shipping so local pickup isn't here so instead of disabling um, local pickup I'm going to disable um, let's disable free shipping uh, free shipping and I'm gonna select admin also so I've selected customer and admin I'm selecting admin because currently I'm logged in as an administrator so for me to see this role quickly I'm just going to include my user role into it as well so now when we refresh this page as you can see we don't have the option for free shipping and you can create another restriction rule for your um, so currently this is disabling wholesale shipping for retail customers you can create another rule just doing the, the reverse so you can disable the retail shipping for wholesale customer and the principle is just the same name it whatever you want so we can say disable okay and then here we just basically select all the retail shipping method for example we could select uh, flat rate shipping and then the condition would be um, customer role. You can choose from any one of these conditions, by the way. This is just a use case I'm using. And then we don't have a wholesale customer role, so we'll select sales agent. But you get the principle, and then you basically save it. And that's it for the shipping method. It's a similar concept um, for the payment gateway method. So let's go ahead and click on payment gateways let's add a new restriction sorry I should say as well you can let's head back quickly head back over to shipping method okay we can also create a rule which says if the order value is less than so less than $300 then we want to disable free shipping. So instead of the condition being customer role, we'll select cart total. 
and then we've got the less than sign here so less than three hundred dollars and then we'll just save this so it basically says if the order is less than three hundred dollars then we want to exclude the free shipping method to that customer so if we refresh our checkout page you can see that the free shipping is disabled. With that out of the way, let's head over to our payment gateways and we wanna add a restriction rule. So firstly, let's check which payment method we've got. We've got direct um, bank transfer, check payment of cash and delivery. Okay, so sticking with the same use case, so we wanna disable the retail payment for our wholesale customers and then we can create another restriction rule which disables our wholesale payment uh, method to our retail customers. So in this use case, we're disabling the retail payment method for our wholesale customers. So let's say um, check payment, we're gonna exclude and cash on delivery, we're also gonna exclude and the condition is customer role and then here you'd select your wholesale role and basically just save um, changes so again for testing purposes I'm gonna select administrator and let's save these changes now when we refresh this page the only option we have for payment is a direct bank transfer and the same principle applies to when you're creating a new restriction rule for your retail customers so as well you can let's just do the retail one quickly so disable, disable, now we'd say disable wholesale. Payment method for retail customers. And then a payment gateway would be direct bank transfer. And customer role would be is um, customer and then you'd save change and a similar thing would happen just like how we what we've got here as well so another use case could be as well let's say you want to restrict paypal when shipping method is free um, so currently i don't have a paypal set up but let's pretend that this direct bank transfer is PayPal. Maybe we should just say restrict bank transfer when shipping method is free. So we're gonna exclude the bank transfer payment gateway and then the condition is shipping method is and free okay so let's test this just to make sure it works and we're going to disable this option here so now we should see the check payments cash and delivery and because the shipping method is it set to free no it's not set to free so it won't work so we're going to disable the direct bank transfer when the shipping method is a flat rate shipping. So let's update this here for internal purposes, flat rate. And then let's save and let's double check it on the front end. Okay, so there we go. So we've disabled direct um, bank transfer. And now we've got check payment, cash and delivery. That's because the shipping method is flat rate. 
okay and in shipping countries I think you you get the idea so we can add various restrictions based on the shipping country state and so on so again you can create your description for internal purposes so let's say you want to exclude so you want to exclude um, Australia so as it says here we're going to restrict the shipping countries allowed at the checkout and you can narrow it down by a region as well within Australia and then you can also add a customer notice here okay and when the condition is say the order amount is less than let's say a hundred dollars so if so let's write this for internal purposes let's exclude now we can create a notice as well so we can use this short code here so it could say so now let's save this restriction rule okay so the shipping country works just the same as the shipping method and the payment gateways basically specify which country which region you want to exclude and then down here you just basically add in the condition you can do a similar thing on a product level so here I'm editing a product and on you'll see this new tab called restrictions and then here you can basically add a payment gateway restriction um, shipping method restriction or basically a shipping country slash states restriction and you can add multiple restriction as well just click add and then basically if a user's got this particular product in their basket you can exclude this particular payment gateway and you can also let the users know why you've excluded that payment gateway when they've used when they're um, purchasing this option as well and in here you'll basically add the condition So again, it works just the same as on a global level. If you've got any questions, any feature requests, please don't hesitate to contact support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.